I need to show you guys something. This is one of those uh, funny picnic areas in Texas that I've been talking about. But I gotta say, it came in handy last night because <laughs> this is my parking spot. Check out that view. Pretty sick, huh? Everybody, this is Claire. Hi. How'd you sleep? Good. Cold. <laughs> And it was hot. <laughs> nice. And how do you like this picnic area? It's pretty nice. It's really yeah. pretty. Next to the park entrance, we have the uh, Brontosaurus. These are both uh, life size figurines. And then the uh, Tyrannosaurus Rex. And then we have in the middle the Clarodactyl. Alright, so after a little hike across the, uh, the river right here, or creek we should say, here's the area where the tracks are. We'll zoom right in on this little three-pronged track. Uh, this is all submerged underwater. So basically, a long time ago, this used to be some kind of soft mud. They made the tracks, and then some sediment filled in over it, and then that sediment eroded, revealing the preserved dinosaur tracks. come here the map is a little misleading we're, we're trying to find um, another tracks and we think this is it we're just up upstream from the last spot just uh, I don't know 100 yards or something like that and uh, I think these are more tracks the strange thing is they don't really label anywhere over here like there's no sign that says these are the tracks but we think they are Not a rock. What right, is so this? we just fished something out of the the river what do we think what do we think this is a seed? Uh, Let me touch it. It's kind of gross. That's weird. It's definitely some kind is. of seed or fruit. If anybody knows, we're in uh, Central Texas. Comment in the uh, in the video here. So we were just over there a second ago. Now we're on the other side of the riverbank. The same side as a parking lot. And this is the Ozai Ozark track site. A little hard to see, but they're, all these little things are dinosaur tracks. Right here, right there. So... Yeah, pretty cool. They are covered with some sediment and some, I don't know, algae if you want to call it that, little stuff. But uh, yeah, these are legit dinosaur tracks. that we stop at a place called Bucky's and she wasn't kidding look at all these pumps over here my goodness yeah hello sir uh, I'd like uh, five dollars on pump number 523 <laughs> Jeez, Louise so we're gonna stop in here and uh, oh my gosh the things literally a grocery store <laughs> it's not a mini mart it's a maxi mart joke look at how huge this place is they have like a separate hot sauce barbecue sauce uh, area. I don't even know what... Where did you take me? What? <laughs> <laughs> Where are we? Bucky's. Texas. Oh my god, is that barbecue? Yeah. Inside the Bucky's we have uh, the picnic barbecue area with uh, tons of uh, rubs and spices and sauces. Also inside the Bucky's. For all you coffee drinkers out there, I got a uh, good tip for you. Uh, this cost me a dollar twenty-nine to refill. I paid something like I think two bucks at like a, a truck stop, uh, a lot cheaper than stopping at a Starbucks. All right, next up on today's trip is uh, Bodacious Barbecue. They're sold out of pork, sausage, and ribs. Oh what? See, <laughs> you know, you know it's a good place if they're sold out of stuff.
Yo, check out my brisket sandwich. This screams Texas right here all over it. I don't really know why there's onions on the side, but I just went with it. Got a little coleslaw, not even a coleslaw person. Spicy barbecue sauce, mild. Smiles, you happy? Yes. How is it? It's good. Yeah? All right, this thing is huge, by the way. It's like basically a, just a meat sandwich. That put all over my face? Mm-hmm. <laughs> It's delicious. Best barbecue you ever had? Uh, pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> good. So apparently these guys are number four uh, in the state of Texas for barbecue. I would say highly recommend it. You should definitely stop by. We're gonna head towards a diamond mine in Arkansas um, because this one over here is uh, likes to play in the dirt and <laughs> dig, dig up fossils. So that's gonna be tomorrow or the next day. It's pretty far. Um, so we're going to look for another one of these amazing picnic areas. This is home tonight. This is in the city or town of Omaha. We are parking right over here. It looks like this is a proper truck parking area. There's a truck to my right and left. Uh, tomorrow we're gonna get back on the road. Just wanna say thank you so much for watching. Feel free to hit that subscribe button. Um, tell your friends to watch the videos. Put the videos on a public computer and leave them on. Leave it, uh, yeah, you know what I'm saying. I'll see you guys on the road tomorrow.